Hands up, you're on the shoulder. Please state your name and where you're from. Daryl, Cincinnati, Ohio. Kelly, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have something to ask you both. You were both sitting, are you, are you related in some way, yes? That's my dad. Oh, right, okay. Yep. So uh, you were both sitting in lesbian row. <laughs> Somebody's got some information for somebody. <laughs> and what we want to do here is we want to help facilitate dialogue within family members. So, uh, who is it? Oh, you don't need... Look, <clears throat> I did say that, that I have noticed you're, uh, you have uh, Dr. Martin boots with um, yep. a floral print on them. I have cat socks, too. You have cat socks? Yeah. Boy, you're going to have such a busy life. <laughs> <laughs> a word of advice. Don't embrace the cat too early. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you folks doing in town, then? Why are you here? It's my birthday. You it's your birthday? Yeah. Oh! I got you two frisbees, a little tiny hat. I got you this. Here you are, here's this, that's a football, there's a little towel. <laughs> I can wear that. Okay. Uh, what restaurant are we gonna send them to? It'll have to be one of the swanky ones. Cafe La Boheme will send you there for your birthday. And I'm going to have uh, this uh, flute <laughs> signed by Jeff Peterson. Look, I'm writing. What the hell, man? Yeah, I'm just writing your name on it. Yeah, no, what the hell, man? Well, it's like, oh, wow, have a sniff of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> there, now. Uh, Take the, uh, so when you, you're going to Cincinnati, if you go through Cleveland on the train, just <laughs> like that on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, that's lovely. What a lovely thing. Um, great. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Sears. Shopping for new appliances? Remember, as a Shop Your Way member, you'll earn points on every purchase. This is rewarding. This is Sears. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. completely humbled by your genuine warmth and enthusiasm. <laughs> See, I knew it was false when you laughed at that. If I'd said genuine one of you, uh, yes, we genuinely are that happy to see you, Craig. <laughs> Nobody's genuinely that happy to see anyone unless it's, you know, from the agency. <laughs> Hi, the agency sent me. <laughs> you asked for a Scottish man? <laughs> Sound familiar? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. It is not, but 
Not, not a great day for Hillary Clinton. Yet again, Hillary embarrassed. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Uh, members of her security detail were caught hiring prostitutes while overseas. Hillary has apologized and said it's the last time she's going to let Bill work security detail. <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hey, is this the Scottish guy working yeah. the agency? <laughs> hey, did the agency send you? <laughs> it's not all bad news for Hillary Clinton, though. She finally joined Twitter. I don't know what her uh, Twitter name is, uh, Pantsuit or something, Pantsuit one. <laughs> the real Pantsuit. Her first tweet was today, uh, it was, uh, has anyone seen my husband? <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. It's, it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense at all. Has anyone seen my hashtag Hillary 2016? <laughs> Let's pretend to be embarrassed when she says she's going to run for president, all right? Yeah, okay. I'm not embarrassed, I mean surprised. Oh, right. Sorry, I... Oh, dear. Or we could pretend to be embarrassed, okay. like when she says, I'm going to run for president, we could all go, oh, oh. <laughs> that would really be confusing if she I would like to be president of the United States, and everybody went, oh. <laughs> be like, what? Anyway, I'll tell you why I'm in such a kerfuffle. A kerfuffle? I'm in a kerfuffle. I'm cock-a-hoop. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> today is the first day of E3. It's the huge video game expo here in L.A. I don't know if you can see out the window here. Oh, no, please. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Wow. I, like, the gaming experts are here. They're wow. they're among gaming. They're, it's, they're so many. They're everywhere. To get that, the gaming experts are saying it's the biggest gathering of virgins since they elected the pope. It's wow. they are all over the top. That would be a great video game. Choose a pope. Choose a pope. choose a pope. Yeah. Gather up all the smoke. Puff it out your chimney. New pope. <laughs> I'd play, I'd play that game. I'd play that game too. I think it'd be awesome. <laughs> I love E3. E3, of course, stands for uh, Electronic Entertainment Erection. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you, you get the graphic for E3? Right here, let's see it. Yeah! Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> like, like, the gamers that are here are like, that's not that good. <laughs> I actually went to E3 last year. I saw someone dressed up as, you know, the big furry ape creature. I'm up, like, I, you know, I went up, I was like, hey, can I get a picture of Donkey Kong? And it said, I'm Khloe Kardashian. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I was, yeah. oh, no, oh, oh, I don't you owe me. <laughs> Good <stuff. laughs> Feeling like, oh, Craig, don't say anything bad about the Kardashians. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> it's a joke. Anyway, I took the picture anyway. Then she threw a barrel at me. I jumped over it. <laughs> The end. Anyway, <laughs> every year at the E3, they show the upgrades to your favorite birds. You know, the birds get angrier, the calls get dutier, Mario gets more super. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm thinking about yesterday's gay pride parade. That yeah. was, uh... <laughs> Were you there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the new video games have got the new facial recognition technology, so your gaming console can identify you without logging in. Like, if I woke up to it, it would say, Hello, Miss Minnelli, what would you like to play? <laughs> I'd be like, I'd like to play New Pope, please. <laughs> new Pope. <laughs> new, is that your robot voice? I like that. I, that's what robots sounded like before you. Yeah. Now all robots are like, mm, hello. <laughs> you're you're hey. the new stereotypical robot voice. Well, let's try it together. Man. All right, then. Hello, Craig. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I see you're in quite a kerfuffle. Uh, uh, I don't know where you're going with this. I don't either. All right, then. Do you know what? You remember the, uh, the, you remember Legends of Zelda? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a great game. That was a fantasy game with sword play and magic and midgets. It was like a Game of Thrones, but without the nudity. Anyway, they... <laughs> Today, E3, they unveiled... Unveiled? Unveiled. Yeah, it's a technical gamer word. It means unveiled. Yeah. But they say unveiled. And you know why? Why? Because they're, they understand computers. <laughs> It's a computer thing. You wouldn't understand it, Grandpa. <laughs> anyway, they unveiled, unveiled, yeah. for those of those that, you know, other people. 
The new Legend of Zelda has been unveiled. That's what I'm trying to say. It's called Windmaker. And in Windmaker, Zelda must defeat the most dangerous windmaker of all, Larry King. The, uh... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, he... Yeah, a lot of brisket. He's 80 years old. Yeah. He likes brisket. What's going to yeah. happen? You know? <laughs> ah! <-huh. laughs> You know what I think the, the game that should be? Late night talk show host. That'd be a great game. You play it by dancing for quarters in the middle of the night. <laughs> the most insincere douche wins the prize <laughs> of a, a face off against the ruthless villain, Dr. Leno. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Leno, who. <laughs> Dr. Leno has never been beaten. <laughs> so you go up to him, you're like, ah, and he's like, duh, 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 duh. Duh, duh, duh. right, you be Dr. Leno. Okay. Uh, All right. Hey, how you doing there? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a great game, because if you win, eight months later, he takes it away from you. Go, I'm just saying, well, come go. on. Come on. Let it go. No. Let it go. It's a new year. You know, come on, let it go yeah, no, with all no, that. Jay's fine. a friend of mine. Knock it off. Good guy. What? You guys hang out? Is that right? Eh. <laughs> hang out a little bit, yeah. Like, I go on his show, he goes on my show. He has big cars. I go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you know the last time I was on The Tonight Show, I did that? Eh, <laughs> there. To Jay, and he's like, is that meant to be me? <laughs> or he didn't say that. He actually went, is that Baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah. I like that when you do that. What, when I suck that's my you, teeth yeah. like that? That's how you know you're getting old. You suck your teeth and that's your... That's better than sex. <laughs> Just gonna go... Mmm. Sucking in my own teeth. <sighs> Sounded to me like you were sniffing. Yeah, yeah. I have no lips, man. Give me a Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's all right. No, it's fine, man. It's all good. Yeah. Well, I, I'm done. I've that's had enough of that. No, it was good. Very yeah, solid. Yeah, that was your monologue right there, except I was talking to you, so it's a uh, dialogue. Yeah, a little banter. A little yeah, yeah, a little banter. banter. A little yeah. late night thing. It was a yeah. little late night thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I t talk to the horse? You, that's what you do at the end of the monologue as well? Yeah, you talk, talk to, to the, the horse. Well, hey, what's up? Yeah. Uh, uh, you had a big weekend, I hear. Oh, oh yeah, cheery banter. There you are. Well, it's a commercials. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> I don't know. Well, here's the thing. Uh, you know, a lot of people were tweeting me during the break and emails and stuff because we're live. And they were saying, uh, hey, Craig, how can you write uh, someone else's autograph and then give it away? It's like, well, it's quite simple. Nobody knows what his handwriting is like, so... It... <laughs> Do you ever think that when somebody says, like, ask you for your autograph, that happens to you a lot? Oh, all the time. Right, right. And do you think, well, how do you, how do you know? Like, wh what are you going to do with it? Show it to somebody? Yeah, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know? I mean, granted, they saw you do it on TV. That's not proof. That isn't proof in a court of law, is it? I mean, if you're actually seen doing something on TV, it doesn't mean you actually do it. No, I mean, people have to watch the show first. Right, exactly. <laughs> so. so, so if nobody's watching it... Well, here's an interesting philosophical question. Yeah, yeah. If nobody's watching the show, are we making it? <laughs> You think, no, we're not making the show. So what, so what is this then? Some kind of episode we're having? <laughs> it's, uh, it's the circle of life? <laughs> what does he mean that? I don't speak horse. What does I he think, mean the I circle? Think he was pantomiming a lollipop or pantomiming something. Pantomiming a lollipop? That is that code for a sex thing? No, no, it means life sucks. <laughs> is that what you meant? 
I, you, really? I speak horse, man. <laughs> you speak horse mime? Yeah, yeah, I speak horse mime. <laughs> hey, I know there's other shows on television that have got stuff, but we have horse mime. <laughs> oh, sure, you've got other shows with, like, you know, explosions and stories and stuff, you know. Do they have horse mime on CSI? No, they don't! <laughs> Do they? Do they have horse mime on it? I don't know. I've never seen it. So, no, they don't. It's not that I, I've, I've only never seen it because I'm too busy preparing for this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's up? What, what's happening? What time is it? It's Tweet Mail Time, brought to you by the new video game Choose a Pope. Will he be a Vatican or a Vatican't? Uh oh. <laughs> Play the jingle. Yeah. Go. Twitter. from Anthony in Silver Springs in Maryland. And now I, I really love it there. I really, really love it there. <laughs> and I also like Maryland. Yeah. You see what I did? Yeah, but... I said one thing, and yeah. then I was implied that I was... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, it's like opera for seniors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Figaro, 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 Figaro. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Anthony in Silver Springs, Maryland says, Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, chocolate glazed or white powdered donuts? <laughs> I think we better be careful here. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I like all donuts, no matter their color or shape. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing. I believe that children are the future. <laughs> yeah. Teach them well and they will find a way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them, you know, a sense of pride. <laughs> this is from Margo in Philadelphia. And, uh... This is from Cody in North Judson, Indiana. No, I really like North Judson. North Judson. North Judson. Yeah. I, I mean, I've got to be honest, South Judson is all right, too. Nice. It's nice. East and West Judson, also yeah. fine. But if you really want a good time, North Judson's the way to go. <laughs> it's one of my favorite Judsons. As far as Judsons go, it's North, yeah. Uh, dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat, I've been watching the show since age 11. I'll be 20 in September. How does that make you feel? <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. front, mister. <laughs> My first guest tonight is an Oscar-nominated actor. His latest film, This Is The End, is in theaters this Wednesday. Take a look at this. How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you doing? You look great. Thanks. I'm such a douche in that clip. No! <laughs> a little bit. But 
you play yourself in the movie, yeah. but you're not a douche. So. I, well, you know, arguable. A little no, bit. I mean, I, a little bit of a douche. Um, but no, I, I hope I'm not a douche. But I, uh, we play these really <laughs> crummy versions of ourselves, and it's kind of basically making fun of how lame actors are. And if there was an apocalypse, we'd all just bitch and complain the entire time, you know? Like, <laughs> and, Sounds uh, like a documentary yeah. to me. <laughs> But oh, actors are lovely. Actors do. They believe that children are the future. Yeah, no, yeah. We'll let them guide and lead the yeah, way. Yeah, all yeah. That. yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> but uh, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg made this movie, and it's so crazy and so funny, and I'm just so psyched. It was their first movie they directed, so it's oh, really, really cool. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, that's nice. So everybody's off the pot now, then, huh? <laughs> well, well, everyone's getting a little apparently. older and made a little money, like, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we get paid to pretend we smoke pot. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can't make movies and smoke pot at the same Well, not, not big, giant movies where the world ends. Maybe like a little one, like, <laughs> dude, do that. Yeah. You know, but... If the movie was called, like, Couch and TV, maybe right, you could right, make right, it. Right. But I don't know. No, you're, you're done with all that. That no, one aren't... sounded better in my head. It, it's yeah. going to get funnier as, as time goes on. That happens a lot. You smell really good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> really. Like, it's really, really. It's intoxicating. Good... It's really kind yeah, of. No. <laughs> it's kind of wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. I, um. It's Is it a uh, special thing? It, it's just my pheromones, Craig. Maybe wow. you're just really attracted to me, and you haven't figured that out. Well, I, I don't mind. I mean, I have an open mind to all forms of human interaction. No, I, and heard, I, that, I heard that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'm just like, wow, you know, no, I, I really it. want you. Come over. <laughs> <laughs> Are we dating? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are now. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, no, cool. Okay, no, it's cool. Um, so I can change my Facebook thing to in a relationship? Yeah, with yeah. Okay. Are you on Facebook? No. no. <laughs> what about the Tweety? You on the Tweety? I'm on the Tweety Bird. Um, I, 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 uh, I don't do it that frequently, but... Um, and what about Twitter? Did you do that? I uh, see what I did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you yeah. just broke up with me right there. Yeah. Did you see that? Listen, I just think... Like we're going in different directions. Yeah, right? I it's get not it. like personal. You know, I get it. You're a great guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, it's not so weird. A um, little bit. Are you going to the uh, E3 uh, thing? What's the, that? The gamer thing. Are you a gamer? Are you no, a, like? I, uh, I haven't played video games in a while. Like I, I stopped around. The same time you stopped pop? Uh, no, no. Yeah, no. But I stopped around like the Genesis um, era. Oh, man, that's after Or, like, me. PlayStation 2, maybe. Oh, I've got a PlayStation, but yeah. I just put DVDs of, uh, like, Matlock and stuff in <laughs> Of my movies. <laughs> you just put my movies on and yeah, just yeah, kind of, yeah, like, like oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish you could combine PlayStation with the actual movies you were, and then play movies on the... on the. That would be awesome. I think they have video games based on movies, Craig. No, but what I'm saying is... I think you, you might actually you play, have your dream come true. You, you Really? Yeah. So what, what if we it was... We made a movie together called How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, yeah. There's That's a video right. game of that. <laughs> you, can, uh, yeah. you can you can yeah. be your own character probably. I think I will. I gotta go. Like, <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> hey, uh, have you have you been working on the new one? I've been working on it. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to do my first recording session. All right. Um, yeah. So they put you back in there. Yeah, I think so. That's a joke. <laughs> and this is like a really abstract way of them telling me I'm not in the second no, movie. No, no, no. You're in the second movie. The second movie. <laughs> Did you read the, the... I don't read the whole script. I just I read never, my bits. Yeah, they just give you the lines yeah. that you're saying, and it's completely out of context, and they mostly ask you just to yell. I don't know about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. So you're yelling these things like, there's a dragon over there. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> quick, get your thing over here. Oh, for heaven's sake, asterisk. I know that, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if there's an asterisk in it, but I shout that anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, but yeah. here's the thing, though. If you do that, when I saw the movie, when we were at the premiere and yeah. watched the movie, I, at the end, I was like, oh, I didn't know that happened. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, in my head, I was like, none of this stuff made any sense that I said, so this movie's probably going to suck. Right. And then I watched it. I was like, they made a good movie. It's really good, really, yeah. They really, like... Put the puzzle together at the end there. And, and you know Jeffrey Katzenberg? Yeah. Like, Genius. Like, G head of, like, probably, like, the world. The world. Yeah, right. Yeah. So when we were doing the press junket for it, I was in my little room in the hotel, and uh -huh. I was having lunch, and he came into my room, and he said, uh, do, you, do you mind if I sit here and have lunch? They haven't got lunch for me. And I was like, no, get out. 
No, he sat down and we had lunch together. There's a subway down the street. Yeah, now. yeah. I was like, I was yeah. he's very friendly. Yeah, he's great. I guess if you're that powerful, you can be I friendly. mean, he's our boss, so you kind of have to say that. Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. But I love him, genuinely. Yeah, no, I... You seemed a little insincere for a moment there. <laughs> I'm not going to call you out. You, that was one of the things, like, my boss is cool when I was you're saying, I like You're outmaneuvering me right now! <laughs> Ever since we broke up, you've been a nightmare no, to No, 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 but here's, <laughs> but here's the thing. I understand how Hollywood works, and I know if I'm the squeaky wheel, I'll get oiled, right. while the good guy like you gets fired. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it worked! Check! <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, it's true. That's what happens. You've got to behave like a complete jerk in order to get ahead. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. I don't think so. I think those days are gone. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Ask... Well, what do you guys think? Uh, they're, they're, they're in town from Cincinnati on a oh, big okay, birthday cool. thing. That's awesome. You ever been to Cincinnati? I haven't. <laughs> like not, you know, like no, not, that's fine. Not, that's fine. No, you're whatever. missing out. Yeah, I'm sure it's awesome. It's not, know, bad. Been it's not bad. What about Cleveland? You been there? I have not. No. Where the hell have you been then? I've been um, in this studio and, right. and the hospital I was born in, and I've lived here ever since <laughs> in this studio. So you were born in a hospital, eh, swanky yeah, pants? Yeah. yeah. Old fancy oh, hospital. Old fancy Hill. hospital, <laughs> Mr. Upturn. Yeah. Mr. Oh, cleanliness. you weren't born in a hospital? I wasn't. No. Oh, okay. I was born in a in a travel. Show. <laughs> there we go. And every night the man would come around and lay the money down. I just imagine you like in a little cage next to Pinocchio, like in one of those. <laughs> exactly what happened. <laughs> one day I'm going to America. <laughs> That's true. We gotta take a break. Uh, That's wanna, unfortunate. Wanna throw to a commercial break? Go ahead. I'd like to take this moment um, <laughs> to go to a commercial. Very good. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Jonah Hell, who uh, just broke up with me. Yeah. <laughs> During the commercial break, which is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, listen, um, you're a really nice guy and everything. I just don't... It's like time. I don't have enough time for a talk show host boyfriend right now. It's just as like, you know... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What, what are just, you looking for in a boyfriend, I, you know, then? I, I dated... <laughs> I just, I can't help myself. I just uh, talk show you anyway. I, I know. I just, it's like we're at home and it's like, stop interviewing me, Craig. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to. So, like how was it in the kitchen? Did you enjoy yourself in the kitchen? What was yeah. in the refrigerator? Yeah. Or did you let... And what was it like making the meal? Did you have fun making the yeah, meal? Was yeah. That? yeah. No. God, I hate myself. Let's just have sex and call it a day. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, like. Yeah. How are, you, how are you doing otherwise? I mean, what is that smell you're wearing? Is that for, uh, for real? Uh, for, is that one of those things with <laughs> I make it in my bathtub. Really? Um, yeah. It's I just mean, a it, bunch it, of berries and different things I mash around. Yeah. Do you get into the berries and rub them against? Yeah. It's like those guys who make wine in uh, Italy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The wine winerians. Yeah, yeah winerians, yeah. yeah. Winonas. Winona riders. Winona riders, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what We're that 10 means. years old, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, but it's a good smell. <laughs> yeah, it is. Do you, do, you, do you enjoy wine? Do I like wine? Yeah. Um, I, the only one I was ever able to enjoy was white wine, and I felt very feminine ordering it, so I stopped. <laughs> Why? Um, a lot well, of people, that's I was that's wearing a wig and makeup the whole time, so maybe that contributed to it a little bit. <laughs> is there know. any way you could enjoy it? Well, yeah. yeah well, let's not love all the people. Listen, was I wearing lipstick and a full makeup and a hot red dress? Yes. Did I feel feminine? Yes. Um, Mission accomplished then, yes, surely. Exactly. I did okay. All right, well, we got to go. Um, Listen, it was a great relationship. I wish you all the best. And, and I wish uh, you the exact same. Jonah Hill, everybody, where we're at. Won the Indy 500 this year. Come on! Won it! 
He won it. He wasn't like second or fourth like we usually get. He's the winner. He's the champ, man. <laughs> The next race is in Milwaukee, Indy Fest, uh, Sunday on NBC Sports Network. Take a look at this. Tony Kanaan, Tony, Tony. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. I mean, what an achievement. That's it, that's it. It's all downhill from here now. That's it. Well, this... You know, I had to win the 500 to come here, so that's no, no, it. No, no, not to come here. <laughs> All you have to do to come here is have a current driver's license. Right. <laughs> but, uh, but winning the 500, is that it? Is that the thing you dreamt about your whole life? Well, you won the championship and the 500, but obviously the 500 is the race. That's, you're, that's the best. Your horse car gets the, yeah. you know, goes in the trophy, you get the check, and you, you become The milk, you get to drink milk, milk. at the end of... Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, Why milk? It's a, a tradition. It's been okay. there for a hundred years, so they kind of ask you what kind of milk you want to drink, so I ordered 2% that day. I think that's bad. I think that's bad. But the idea, like, how long are you in that car? Three hours. Three hours in the car, traveling at, what, 230 miles an hour or something like that? Yeah, average. It gets pretty hot in there, I'd imagine? Very hot. I mean, we have two radiators on each side, which is 100 degrees each. So we well, why, don't, why don't you have air conditioners on either side? Just open the visor. You know, at 200 miles an hour, it, there's plenty of wind in there. But Really? Is that true? <laughs> do you actually open up? <laughs> <laughs> if, you do, if you do that, you're done. If you put your hand up, actually, it will stick in there until you slow down because you can't... You, you can't. can't get it back? That's so you'd be stuck in a wave yeah. all the way around? Or, or something else. Oh, oh. Okay. now isn't there a fine though if you flip yeah. a, somebody $15, off? $15,000 for the bird, each one of them. <laughs> it's, so have you ever paid if it? If you think it's worth it. Yeah! Just, you know, it doesn't go well with the wife. She can say she can spend the money somewhere else. Well, I guess it's true, <laughs> but you know, I mean, at the same time, well, there's got to be some road rage out there when these, th you know, you're going that fast and all these competitive uh, guy drivers, you know, kind of like going crazy for it. There's a little bit of road rage, surely. You always get mad at somebody. Yeah. Know, and I mean, I could do it at 35 miles an hour <laughs> on La Brea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It, and, you know, you don't think about it, the $15,000 fine, but, you know, and, but going at that speed, sometimes you can actually say, no, I was waving, but the wind was so strong that I Ah! Of... <laughs> Did you pixelate him there? <laughs> don't you pick? He won the Indy 500! <laughs> I cannot believe it. I'm so sorry. So, what's next, Milwaukee? Milwaukee, yeah. Yeah, is that, is that a tough course? It's a short oval, very small, and, uh, you know, it's, it is a tough course, but, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll try to, to beat. We have a, a Scottish friend. Uh, Dario, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. How's he doing this year? Not very. <laughs> 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 he's going to kill me. No, 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 I, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's welcome here any time, you know, usually if we get the results up a little bit, but, yeah, <laughs> no, it's a joke, it's a joke. <laughs> He's no. going to take me out the next race. and uh, No, no, I mean, you guys are friends off the track, though, most of you, right? We're really good friends, and actually, you know, we, we have a good group of guys that obviously we race against each other, but, you know, thanks to Dario, actually, he brought, uh, you know, the yellow flag. This race that we did in the Indy 500, we finished under the yellow, which was kind of sad in a way, but because Dario crashed. Oh, of course, he yeah, made a yeah, mistake, yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody thought he was sad, and then I go by him, and he's celebrating out of the car my victory. So oh, really? How, that's nice. Yeah, nice that's good. So, yeah, yeah, so if you're under the yellow flag, though, at the finish, that's the caution flag, right? It's a caution flag. Right, so you're holding it back a little bit for the well, last basically, flag. when it goes caution, nobody can pass you, so it was awesome. I knew ah, that. so you knew you'd won, yeah. <laughs> but, but having said that, if you don't cross the finish line, you're not the winner, so I, I had two laps, which is like about four minutes, that to think and start to get psycho. What? Like, what, you know, what? Like, like oh, you hear the engine. Like you can see him coming, and you see the engine, and like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna run out of fuel. With, but but then again, would you be able? Like, nobody's allowed to pass you, so could you no, get out and push? No, if you have a problem, that's yeah, you could, but you're not gonna push faster than those guys that. Yeah, but they can't, they, they're not allowed to pass it, or they got to show no, 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 it doesn't work like that. Nah, <laughs> I'd be no good at this thing. <laughs> There'll be a lot of $15,000 fine, fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I can't afford to do your job. What about, uh, what about in, on the st street driving? Are you a very patient, are you very, like a, like a martial artist? You don't need to do it because you're kind of well, like, no, exactly. you, you know, if you know how to fight, you're not going to, but right. I'm, I'm actually, 
I'm okay. I've been in the, in the United States for 18 years. I only got two speeding tickets. That's not bad. That's not bad. But a lot of parking tickets. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the automatic pass for the tolls, they call some pass in Florida easy. Like, easy pass, yeah. I yeah. never have them in my car, but I, when I see a bunch of cars and I see a gap on the outside, I just want to go. <laughs> That's training. That's I mean, just that, training. Yeah, it's like, you see it, you go. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a horrible passenger, Craig. I can't, I can't be in a car with somebody else driving. Really? No. So what about if, like, if you're going to some swanky show business or sports event and they send a car? Do you make the guy sit in the back or what? Well, like, like today. Or, oh, they, we sent a car they for you. So what happened then? Me. So I mean, I kind of sat in the back, but usually either I sit in the passenger seat, or actually it happened one time that I asked the cab driver if I could drive the cab. <laughs> he okay? let me do it. Wow. He said it's an honor, so I can tell all my friends to drive. He took pictures and. <laughs> I still had to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, no, that's fine. And you're from uh, Brazil, right? Brazil. That, there's a big uh, racing tradition in Brazil with these. It cars. is obviously. Uh, it's the second biggest sport back home after soccer. Soccer, yeah. And uh, you know we have a pretty good group of you know young kids that wanted to do that. So basically that's how I started it. You know my dad kind of pushed me into it. Pushed you into. Well, you know we used to watch races together on TV, and he didn't want me. Actually, to give me a go kart because he was going to get in trouble with my mother. Yeah, I'll so bet, he kind of yeah. said he took me to a go kart track and said, "Hey, nice, he's going huh? pretty fast." Nice. Yeah. and I'm like, "Yeah, nice." Yeah. He says, okay, uh, so get, get one. Yeah, so he bought me one the next day, and uh, for a full year, I went testing, not racing yet, just getting used to it. And he didn't tell my mother that. So every Saturday and Sunday, we used to leave me and him. He passed away when I was 13, by the way. So uh, you know, he, he saw me winning a couple of championships. But on a Saturday morning, we would, we would go to the track, spend the whole day, for weekends in a row. And he couldn't make up more excuses to my mom. My mom, at the end, just started to actually really get mad at him, thinking that he was cheating on her and taking the kid with him. <laughs> so, wow. So I had to explain to her, and then she finally found out why I was racing. Hey, it, is, it is Brazil, though. I mean, she uh, had. I mean, it was like. Uh, I yeah, you know, the Brazilian wax. And yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> There's a $15,000 fine if I get involved. Right? <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, congratulations again on the 500. Good luck in Milwaukee. Uh, it's Thank great you. to see you. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. That rocket stopped abruptly, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. The hell, man. Yeah, but I was just getting used to the sound of the roar, and then it was over. Cat's a bad astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, at the end of the show, I always like to talk in my Downton Abbey voice and roast my testicles by the fire. Oh, yes, yes, quite, quite, yeah. yeah. That's what I always enjoy. Ah. Ah. That's the sound of satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you learn on the show tonight, Jeffrey? Well, I learned a little bit about horse miming. Yes, indeed. Quite, quite an interesting thing. Mm. I did a little bit of old man opera tonight. Old man opera? 